Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome pot roast for the holidays. First thing you're going to need is a three pound chuck roast, some carrots, whatever veg you would like, some potatoes too, and an envelope of this Lipton onion soup mix, and a couple of um, cloves here of garlic as well. For a three pound roast, I usually go with two cloves of garlic. And you're also going to need a Dutch oven or some sort of pot where you can close it and put it in the oven where it will not melt. At the bottom of the Dutch oven, I generously put a whole bunch of olive oil. I have washed my carrots and now we're going to prep the meat. Again, this is like a three pound roast, um, lots of marbling in it. And what I do here is I um, put the garlic inside of the meat and here it is, just infuse it right inside and it will give the meat so much flavor. It's just a, a really great hack uh, for pot roast. And after all of the little pieces of garlic are inside of it, I am gonna season it with a whole lot of salt and um, pepper. This is obviously to your taste, um, but I like to season my meat pretty generously. Not too much though. And there it is, just a sprinkle. And it really makes a huge difference to season your meat on both sides. And um, side shot. <laughs> and here is the final product here of, of the seasoning and now we have my beautiful um, vegetables these carrots are multicolored carrots and I cut them in about two to three inch blocks uh, pretty um, chunky I don't like it thin as this will be in the oven for three hours so at the bottom of the pot we have a lot of olive oil and on the top of the roast we're just gonna give another bath with a little bit more olive oil and there it is you can be heavy handed on this step and the Lipton onion soup mix. Just um, pour that on top of the roast and just massage it in a little bit if you wish. And the next thing you're going to do is just start throwing in all of the vegetables. Um, you add no moisture to this. Um, the vegetables, believe it or not, will give um, the roast enough moisture in the cooking. And now for th at 300 degrees, you put this in the oven for three hours and no peaking. And here it is three hours later. Look at that gorgeous roast. Um, all of the vegetables too are so soft and um, cooked very thoroughly. Guys, at this stage, what I'm going to do is put the roast um, on a separate pan and tent it and put the vegetables um, in a separate pan as well. And I put this back in the oven. I turn the heat off, but just to keep the vegetables warm, the meat has to be tented for about 20 minutes and just a little piece of tin foil for the tenting. And it's super easy. And now with the roast out of the pan, I separated the um, juice and add a little bit of flour here and I'm gonna make my own gravy. This is more of an advanced step, so if you're not adventurous to make your own gravy, just buy some at the store, but just add a little bit of flour, uh, put it on medium, and then when it starts bubbling it up, um, it is done. And it's a really delicious gravy. And here's a final shot of the plating. And I made a little bit of rice for good measure. So if you make this recipe, please tag me on your photo on Instagram and I will see you on the next one. Bye.